In this overview, I'm going to go through some of the summary statistical setups or views in, in LS activity. So from the role center, we have access to a number of views. Uh, one of them being the, the matrix views, which, which shows you availability in a, in a graphical format. And all these views are completely user definable. Uh, then we have something called resource status, which is uh, gives you um, a, a st kind of a standard nav page overview of, of the resources uh, and their availability and their assignments. Then we have resource analysis, which is uh, where you can summarize uh, based on any kind of period setting, may it be day, week, month, quarterly, yearly, etc. And as you scroll through the period, you see the amounts, quantities, number of activities, and number of hours. And then in the lower section, you see the same figures uh, distributed on the resources. Uh, these, all these views can be filtered based on the activity type in this case, uh, it could be golf, spa, whichever the activity types are in your business. Uh, based on a resource group, if you only want to limit the view to certain resources, uh, to specific location or, or, uh, or all locations. Uh, then we have something called uh, these uh, total views here, general totals. That's just complete summary uh, according to a summary setup. So all these views are user definable. So in this case, I've set up uh, these views. I want to see number of appointments in total uh, for the whole year uh, or for the last 14 days, next 14 days, or in this case, total amount this year. So, so in all these summary views, we can always drill down to the source of, of these entry, of these uh, uh, values. So we can always see what entries are behind these totals simply by drilling down to uh, from the total value here. Uh, the same setup applies for viewing these uh, figures based on uh, resources. So we have the same approach there, but but uh, based on, on the resources. Or you can do the same based on the products. So, and the, in this case, we're always summarizing the number of appointments and uh, viewing it last 14 or next 14 days. But again, this is all usually definable, and I will go into the setup of, of that later on. Um, so these were the total views. You have the same views per product. So as you select a product, you have the same summary per product, or you have the same summary as well per resource. And you can also have summaries per, uh, the, for the clients. In this case, I'm always showing the same uh, summaries for resources, clients or products. But as you can see in the setup, if we go to the sum summary setup here, I'm going to give you a, a sample, I'll give you a sample how these are set up. So if we open up one of these setup uh, cards, so you can see we just, the user can just give this uh, summary a, a code under description. Uh, the sequence controls where it will be viewed and which sequence it will be viewed in, in, in the summary pages. You can select what you want to summarize, uh, the number of times, the number of appointments, basically, number of days, number of hours, amount, number of persons, the outstanding balance, the total amount, the, the total amount of charges, any deposits uh, or quantities. So the user can select which of these values are the you want to see. 
you can and then you can assign where you want to see it uh, everywhere on all or basically on all total views or just at the resource view just at the product view or just at the total view or just at the client view so completely user definable where it's going to be displayed and then the user can assign filters based on the product based on statuses based on location based on payment as well set up what date period is going to be calculated so there you can have predefined uh, calculation periods or you can define your own period and uh, this these state settings will basically be applied when when we do the summaries so very powerful summary mechanism